Cool, so Sam and I just uh, finished off a morning session and uh, we were soft baiting off the rocks, which is sort of becoming the new favourite. And um, Sam managed to get a nice, what was it, a 60 odd? Yeah. Tail up, nose down sort of thing. Yeah, that's fine. We've had heaps of questions about soft baiting off the rock, specifically like what gear we're using, um, jig head size, soft bait colours, so we figured we'd, we'd um, share a bit of the things that we've been using and, and what's been working. So, um, starting with the soft baits, we've sort of gone two different tactics. approach has been to use a heavier jig head, so um, I'd go a half ounce jig head, um, and with these I'll fish uh, uh, the, the Z-Man paddlers. And so the idea here is that um, I'm sort of working that mid-water zone, so not letting it sink down to the bottom at all. Um, and that's great on days when there's quite a bit of whitewash or you're fishing a burly trail. Whoa, 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 let go, let go, let go. Um, so it's not really getting hooked up at the bottom at all. Um, and the soft bait, because of that paddle tail, is just doing all the work for you. Um, so that's what I nabbed that good snap on barrier and, and one just uh, last week as well. Let's get him back. <laughs> so heavier jig head and, uh, and the paddler. And then the other approach, which seems to be working just as well, is to use a much lighter jig head, so quarter ounce, um, even an eighth at times, um, and to match that up with one of these big seven inch Z-Mans. And um, the idea here is that you really let this, the soft bait sink slowly, and often you get the fish just on the drop. Um, and with the lighter jig head, it doesn't really matter if, the, if it gets caught up in the kelp a little bit. Um, you know, generally you can just work it out pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, slower drop, um, and, uh, and yeah, they'll hit it on the drop most of the time with those. Colours wise, if, um, if I had to pick three colours for a session, uh, they would probably go in this order. Number one would be the new penny. Um, that's just got to be the most consistent uh, producer um, that I've found. So a new penny in both the paddler and the, and the uh, seven inch, the seven inch jerk shad. Coming in at number two would be, for me, the red bone. Um, nice natural colour. Red bone would be number two. And then in at number three would be the bruised banana. Um, those would be my top three. And I'd confidently go out for a fish off the rocks just with those three colours. So combos wise, so um, Daiwa have sent us uh, a pair of these um, TD Hyper rods, which are beautiful rods. Uh, I think they're seven foot six and uh, they're rated at five to nine kilos. Uh, they've matched them up with the Saltus Nero's, the 3000. And again, really nice reel, nice and smooth. Um, and that's the combo that I got that snapper on last week. Yeah, the top of the bag. Um, it did run me into the, into the kelp and it was a bit of a, a, a heave-ho to get it out. Um, but it did the job, so. Uh, yeah, that's the combo that we're using. That's the one Sam's using at the moment. Um, and again, he caught a nice fish this morning. Um, and it worked a treat. Um, but since getting into a bit of strife last week with that fish, um, the boys at Dyer have sent me a new setup, which I guess you'd call it either a, a light stick bait or a, a really heavy soft bait. But um, this is exactly what I've been wanting for this soft, um, soft baiting off the rocks. It's a generation black rod. Uh, it's called a slugger. And it is eight foot long and it's rated at six to ten kilos. So this setup's gonna give me uh, a good cast. It's also gonna give me a uh, good sort of leverage when I'm when I'm fighting a fish, you know, I can really get its head up and get it away from the edge of the ledge. Um, and it's gonna give me that grunt that I need too. So um, the beauty of this rod as well is that um, you can be casting you can be casting your soft baits comfortably but it also casts up to 60 grams so these OTLs for example um, the smaller Piper these are at 45 so uh, all of a sudden you've got a setup that you can target big snaps with but also kingies too so which is pretty exciting um, and then the reel well the reels pretty nice bit of kit it's a TD Sol and this is the 6000. Um, 
it's got heaps of drag it's got 12 kilos of drag um, spooled up with 30 pound braid and um, used it for the first time this morning and it's beautiful and smooth so real grunty and, and hopefully that's going to do the job uh, off the rocks